Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lender Squad? We're doing a Labs Hatchet run now. A lot of people have asked me, Sam, first off, how do you get so fucking big? How do you get so fucking big, bro? <sighs> it's the gym, really, and then push-ups, that's it. But, um, oh, and a lot of bad food also because I'm fucking morbidly obese. Like, I'm, I'm a fucking balloon animal. But, um, because I've started uploading Tarkov, people have been asking me, Sam, I bought Tarkov. I need to know how to start out. I need to know how, what I can do to make some money so I can afford to get those armor sets that you run and those keys that you bought and everything like that. And I'm going to show you guys how, uh, for those beginners who are just like broke. You know, like you buy the, the standard edition of the game, you got like 300,000 rubles, which isn't even enough. It's like enough for one budget kit. So, uh, let me show you guys. You load into labs, you bring your hatchet, you bring your knife, you bring whatever melee weapon you have. You're not going to be trying to kill anything, to be honest with you. You're just going to be running around looting. Now, with those 300,000 rubles you have, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. You have 300,000 rubles when you start, maybe 500,000. But I think I'm gonna go on the low end just in case I'm wrong with the three hundred thousand. Um, so you, you're gonna start in with three hundred thousand. Now these keys that I'm gonna tell you to buy are super important for you because what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to purchase them and then load into labs and fucking beam it there. You're just gonna want to you're just gonna want to sprint there as fast as you can because they have a lot of money making loot inside them. Now these keys I'm gonna tell you to buy are relatively cheap. Uh, you should be able to buy all of them with 300000 If you can't buy them all yet, just go ahead and wait. Uh, there will be people that post them on the flea market for lower. But um, I'm assuming you know you guys know where the flea market is. You go to the traders, you click on the flea market, and then you type in whatever key you want. I'm going to put the, the names of the keys uh, on stream or on the screen right here when we load in. I'll just click them up and you can read the names. So um, you can pause it there and... Go and buy whatever keys that I'm telling you to get. And I'm going to tell you to get three different keys. We're going to get the manager's office key. We're going to be getting the weapons testing area key. And we're going to be getting the medical room or medical lab key. Um, now, I might die here without being able to loot most of the stuff. And that's completely fine because when you're doing a hatchet run, you lose nothing by dying. So you're just going to want to run in there, blind abandonment. You know, you lose nothing when you die. So just, just go for it, you know, just... Um, just, you know, run, run for it, man. And it, and when you get there, you either have loot or you don't have loot. So we got a decent spawn, but I'm going to be late because I'm going to show you the keys we're going to get. So let me close this door and show you, uh, on stream. So open up the key tool. We are going to be buying this one. We're going to be buying this one. And we're going to be buying this one. No, this one. These are the three keys you're going to want to buy. So go ahead, pause the screen, and you can read these. This key is called the Lab Key Manager Office. This one is the Lab Key Laboratory Block Level 2. And this one is the Lab Key Testing Area Weapons. So let me show you guys where these go. Um, I'll probably die because I loaded in... Well, I didn't load in late, but... Um, but I didn't go, you know, directly there. Now, what you're gonna want to do, the first thing you're want, you're gonna want to do is go up there. You see up there, that glass container, that is called manager's office. Now, manager's office gets looted really fast, so you gotta go there really fast. Now, because I, you know, I waited and I showed you guys those keys, I'm not gonna go there because I'm pretty sure it's already looted. Instead, I'm gonna go in here, and all these attachments is where you're gonna be making your money back, starting. Suppressors, um, actually not very very great attachments right here, but there are suppressors here and sights and stuff, and you can make a lot of money really quick in this uh, in this little zone. Not to mention there's one, two, three M4 spawns, and then one M4 spawn here. So uh, you have four M4 spawns and a bunch of suppressors and stuff like that. In these crates is going to be the main reason that you buy this key because you can get a weapon out of them, a loaded weapon with armor penetrating BP rounds. So um, this is the main reason you're gonna get this because 
when you're doing these runs, you go in with nothing, right? You, you load in with absolutely nothing, and your goal is to leave with stuff, right? Obviously. So again, I'm going to skip out of the manager's office, and I'm going to run right to the laboratory block 2, aka the medical room. Okay, cancel that. There's a lot of scavs, and I don't want to deal with those, so I'm going to run back down here. How much ammo do I have? Le less than half. That's not good. Um, Alright, so scavs obviously put a dent in my plan. Here's a good spot to loot, actually, right here. In the middle container right here, there can spawn a lot of stuff here that's worth a lot of money. Obviously, someone already looted it because the gate's open. I got another flashbang. I'm blind as shit. Um... I, get, I mean, we should test out what... Oh. Whoa. No, dude, that was the last of my ammo. Okay, we're gonna... It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna just do this. We're gonna take this, unload this mag, and then we're gonna be able to put the MP5 there. So we've made a lot of money this raid already. We have no more ammo here, though, so... Where was that... Scav. Oh, there he is. Alright, well. That's alright, man. That's alright. We made a lot of money. You know, we went, we hit one, one of the keys. One of the keys, which was just the weapons testing. And we got an MP5. We got a suppressor. And we got a TT. So that's, that's going to sell for, I mean, 30k, 40k, and then maybe 5k. So, I mean, we, we already bought one key back. You know, because each key, each key is about seventy-five to to sixty-five thousand, like seventy-five on the high end and sixty-five on the low end. So, um, like I said, you'll be able to buy these keys as soon as you start the game. As soon as you buy the game, download it, open up your account. You have this like starter pack of rubles in your uh, in your stash, and you're just gonna want to spend those rubles, go in on some hatchet runs, get these keys, and start making some money so that you can obviously. Uh, buy some armor, buy some setups, you know, some nice uh, Gen 4, maybe a fort, an Alton helmet, maybe a Masca helmet, you know, just really good gear in general. And um, I actually tested running to manager's office 10 times on my stream yesterday, 10 times. So 10 raids where I just load in as a hatchling and I run there. Whether I died or not, it counted, right? So if I died on my way there, it counted as one of the 10. And even though I died in five of my runs, I still made $600,000 running five times to the manager's office. If I made it to the manager's office five times, I made 600,000 rubles. So you can easily, easily make a ton of money. This is just what you're going to want to do right when you start out. Again, just like a beginner's guide on how to make money, uh, how to get ready for the mid game which is basically just like budget setups and then how to get ready for the late game, which is just super uh, expensive setups like I use with the mascas and the kitted uh, M1As and RSASs and stuff like that. Uh, RPKs, you know, shit that, that you normally wouldn't use unless you're filthy rich in the game, which I have uh, 12 million rubles. So, it, I mean, that's kind of what I am right now. So, um, so yeah, that's. I mean, this is just the beginning. Whenever you're low on your luck, you know, Maybe you have 4 million rubles right now and you just get a bunch of bad luck and you're down to 1 million and you want to make some money back. I'm telling you, invest that 75,000 rubles, man, because that's not that's not a lot of money to pay for the manager's office key, which in turn is going to bring back so, 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 so much money more. Like a, like a ridiculous amount of money more. So let's see where I spawn. Let's see if I get a good spawn for the manager's office. Obviously, you know, if you don't know the map, you have to learn it and, you know, watch videos on it and stuff like that. But it's not a hard map to learn. It's relatively easy. The hardest thing about it is that it has three levels. We got a decent spawn. Uh, we got a we got a decent spawn. That's what I'll say. I was going to say good, but eh. There's, there's a better spawn than the one we got. So if that guy is going to rush managers and we're not going to be able to get there first but it looks like we are we are going to be here first so you want to run up here i like to go on this side just because uh, most people spawn on the left side and i don't want to deal with that open the door it's lagging a little bit there we go doors open so there's a spawn right here and then a spawn right here on the table and right there maybe 50k 60k That guy was an angry person. He didn't. He did not. 
like me very much, Mr. Cobra. Okay. Well, there you go. And then we're just going to do one more run of, of manager's office, and we're going to see how much we made. Just one, one weapons testing run and one uh, manager's office run. And then I guess, you know, to even it out, we'll just do one med lab run instead of manager's office. So we'll go... Um, I'll show you each room that you're buying the key for. So I, I showed you weapon testing in the first raid, showed you managers in the second, and now we'll go and we'll go into the third raid and I'll show you guys the uh, the uh, laboratory block two, which everyone just calls med room because it, there's so much meds in there. Now I know you guys might not have a gamma container like I have because that's when you have the highest edition of the game, the, uh, um, was it Edge of Darkness, Escape of Darkness, Darkness, something like that, I don't know. Um, but I, you know, most of you don't have the one up here. You're going to have the lower ones, like maybe the beta container or the alpha container down here, you know, beta, gamma, alpha, whatever, um, which are a little bit smaller. So you won't be able to store as much shit in them, but that's okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're trying to make money, that's what matters. Even if like, if you don't have a key bar, which I have, you're all, you're using three slots in your gamma or your alpha or your beta, uh, <laughs> to have these uh, these keys. So if you have an alpha container, sadly you're only going to be able to uh, uh, to contain one item. So you're going to want to make sure that item is like top tier. You know that's that's like your go-to item. The most expensive item you can get is in manager's office, and it's a lion. But you can't do that with an alpha container. So uh, the most expensive an alpha container is going to get is a Bitcoin, which is just a one slot item that sells for about 110,000, uh, 160,000 actually rubles, um, which is nuts. I mean, that's crazy. A one slot item that sells for 160,000 rubles, fucking bonkers. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's just what you're going to want to do. And I'm going to show you guys med room here. Hopefully I get a good spawn for it. Where the fuck am I? Uh, I know where I am. All right, we're good. I did not get a good spawn for it, though. I did not. I got a very, very bad spawn for it. Well, let's just see if we can make it there. Okay, what just opened? Hangar gate. That's over there. So I want to avoid the left area as much as possible. Someone next to me. I'm gonna run over here. Ooh, that's a suppressed RSAS, it sounds like. Do, 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 do. Alright, so let's just run through the bottom here. Um, I'm gonna check right here because there can be a key that spawns here. Oh, intelligence, actually. And then there can be a lead X spawn in here. That you have to lay down to grab. But uh, it's not here. I right, know let X spawn. So let's go ahead and try to get to that med lab. Oh god, don't kill me. Oh god, don't kill me. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta do another raid, man. We gotta get in there. People called in that hangar and it just, you know, it fucked me up. I was I was literally on the other side of the map. And I had to run all the way to dude, that that was like a good looking arm. I got a good looking arm, boys. I can't really do that with my right because because the lighting isn't as good. I mean, like kind of you can kind of see it, but like the lighting is just good over here. It's not good. Over here. Like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. We're going like over here, you know? And I'm just like, ah, uh, no. Whatever. Fuck the lighting. I'm buff. All right, let's wait. Let's get in here, med lab. Um. And I mean, hopefully I can show you guys. Oh, we got a great spawn, great spawn. Perfect spawn. Just gotta run right here, man. And this is the laboratory block too, as you can see. And we're gonna just unlock this door. We're gonna close it. And then we're gonna start looting. Someone is... Okay, let's try again, because apparently 
Everybody fucking hates me. Get that intel out of our bag. I want to show you guys the loot inside that room before I end this video. Because I, I know for a fact that it's... Like, that room... <clears throat> It's really good. Like, the weapon testing room is really good to get a weapon to fight back to try to get extra loot out. The manager's office room is really good if you get a good spawn for it and you just fucking rush it. And you can get amazing money out of it. <clears throat> and then the laboratory room is really good for stockpiling meds and making a ton of money. Um, not as much money as the manager's office, but if you get a lot of meds there, it'll still count as, you know, a, a shit ton of shit ton of money so let's try again it's uh, that was really unfortunate because i spawned in 20 seconds late i think i spawned in 20 seconds late and that guy was already running to the laboratory office the laboratory med block and he had gear which sucks and you know this is is not a strategy that you're going to be using all the time you know it's just a strategy to help you start off and make some money and that's i mean that's what i'm here to show you guys so Let's do it. Let's do it. We're loading in. Whenever you get this deploying screen, I think it means that you don't spawn in late. But I have spawned in late even though I've been deployed like this. It's really weird. I don't really understand it, to be honest. But whatever. Just stretch your arms. Okay. All right. Where the hell? Oh, this is a bad spawn. I got a good I got a good timing spawn, but this is a really bad spawn. The reason this is such a bad spawn to get to the med room is because you're gonna wanna run to the med room as fast as possible, and that requires you to run uh, out in the open for quite a long time. And if anyone decides that they don't want you alive, then you're not gonna be alive. There's someone to my left. Someone behind me. Oh, yep, 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 yep. And he's got a Mosin. He actually ran. He shot and then ran. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in here and I'm gonna loot as quick as I can. So there's a loot here. I'm gonna make sure you put everything in your gamma container. You're just gonna run around and you're gonna loot as much as you can, as fast as you can, before you die. These stims are worth a lot of money, so you wanna make sure you pick them up. Alright, nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, wait, was that something? Nope. Um, nothing here. Let's see. Nothing here. We got another stim here. I know, I know I'm dying, but like. If you can get this loot out, then that's really, that's all you want to do is you want to run in here, you want to loot, and then you want to dip. And there's a weapon crate in here, which can also spawn you a weapon. And if it does spawn you a weapon, you can actually use one of the things that you get, which I am, because um, it will heal me a little bit, I think. It won't stop bleeding, will it? Let's use both. If I use both of those... I should be healing real fast. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be healing way fast up there. Even though I'm bleeding. So there we go. So even though we're bleeding, we got some heals rocking. Um, and I still got... This is about 55k worth of loot right here. So this pretty much already pays for a key. And if you if you didn't find a weapon in there, and you just, you just died, you know, that's just as fine. Because those two stims that I used... The yellow one and the green one, those are the most expensive ones. And those are the best ones, to be honest. So now that you have a weapon... Um, I mean, I've pretty much already shown you guys. I've shown you guys every room, and now is this just extra content at this part. I'm trying to show you guys what you can do if you find some good stems and a weapon. What kind of ammo? BP. It's got armor pendant rounds in it, which is nice. Dead guy right there.
Oh, man. All right. Whatever. It's okay. He was waiting for me, man. He could hear my breathing because sh- I got my stomach blacked out. So I was breathing really loud. Okay. So uh, let's just see how much money you make out of selling or out of going to those rooms one time. So we got 31K or 32K really. And we got 86K. So we got 32 plus 86, which is like 118. And then we got another 55, which is 170 something. Oh, it's right here. 173,642. So if you buy, oh wait, I didn't even sell the weapons. Hold on. And then the two weapons. So we made out of three runs, three runs where I died every single time and I only hit one room each. Sometimes you can hit every single room in one run and make this amount of money. But, um, and by the way, this is on the low end of the money you make. So you pretty much pay for all three keys in a really shitty run. And I have this intelligence too, which I can trade for something. And there you go. I mean, like, that's how you start Tarkov. That's that's what you do with your, your starting money to start making some normal money. And as you see here, I got almost 12 million rubles. I still got some weapons. I got a Bitcoin down here. I got uh, a lot of armor. I got a couple forts, you know, some bags inside bags. Um, so, I, you know, I still got a lot of stuff. And I got a lot of money to buy more stuff if I want it. Um, and yeah, that's just going to be, that's just a showing you how you guys should start off in Tarkov, uh, in this patch, uh, with your starting money. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, y'all, peace.